Okay, so we come down. I go to go here. I see that it's on safe. Iraq. Yes. Then I go. This is a worldwide movie star role that honestly, Jennifer was the only person on the planet who could play because she can do it all. The mother is a skilled sniper and combat veteran who has to give up her baby and go into hiding. Years later, she learns that the child's in trouble. They're using her to get to me. And I'm gonna protect her. Jennifer's such a gift to the action. I knew she'd be highly credible in the role, physically. Yeah, it's like low, go yeah. down. So, boom, boom, boom. that's it. <clears throat> She brings strength, authenticity, truth, and vulnerability to this role. She had to learn to fight, and she's really good. Her dance and choreography background makes it so she's just real coordinated. She also had to construct the weapon together without looking at it, and she nailed it perfectly every single time. In position. Jennifer controls the screen completely. She is able to play an action, adventure, character, and still have real depth. Dear Zoe, for all my mistakes, you are the one good and beautiful thing that I have done with my life. She is a very powerful woman. I really feel a connection with her, and I love the lengths that a mother would go through to protect their child. You burned down our entire world for her. Being is a mother. She's mine! You heard our kids, we'll fuck you up. Welcome to motherhood. I'm a mother, and I will die protecting you. There was a lot of different things that I had to really master. Being a dancer really helps you when it comes to learning steps of things. Even in the fighting, it's like learning a technique of a, a new kind of dance. And to look like you know how you're doing it, you really have to kind of master the body positions and movements. And this is where you put your leg, this is how you throw your body. You know, it was just kind of like learning a dance move or a dance step. Actually, it was a lot of fun once you get into it. It's taxing though. It's like it takes a lot of adrenaline. Your adrenaline goes really high. It's just like if you're performing. The knife fighting was different for me. I had never done any action with, with knives in that way. I don't think. I mean, I would have to remember back. I've done a lot of guns, played cops and FBI and all kinds of things, like, and sniper, actually. I learned how to shoot a sniper rifle for out of sight. But I had never done, like, a knife. There's a dummy knife that you start with. <laughs> and you don't want to play with anything that's not it. And of course, when we're doing the actual fight, we're, we're not using a real knife either. It looks really real, and it can hurt you, but not in the way a knife can. There wasn't any specific, like, we're doing this type of martial art or something like that. It was just like basic fight training, kind of using your, you know, the other person's weight to leverage them and being that I'm a woman and I'd be fighting men and kind of learning how to get out of the way and kind of get the advantage and things like that. We had Tara who was helping me, was a fighter herself and she's a stunt double as well in the film and also was a dancer at one time. So we kind of spoke the same language and were able to kind of do all of the choreography for the fight. Now. I had to relearn because I had learned earlier in my career how to shoot a sniper rifle and some guys were military who were helping me with the guns and then we would get together a couple of times a week and we do it for hours a day and go through whether it's the gun and learning how to put it together or even like the position of the body that you have to to look convincing or it was shooting practice kind of like learning how to shoot the actual gun. Where's my baby? I want to see her. And what you want is no longer the deciding factor in what happens next. This is a story of a mother at her most primal and protective. The mother's a compelling character because when we meet her, she's a killer who is in business with ruthless people. She gets pregnant and everything changes. She betrays her associates to the FBI and this forces her to give up her child and go into hiding to protect the child's life. Twelve years later, she comes out of hiding 
to protect this child. But now, even though she's still the killer she's always been, now she has to learn to be a mother. And that is not easy, particularly when the child is a stranger to you. Watching the mother take that journey, trying to be a parent is what makes the character so compelling and what makes the performance so real and so relatable. You're not me. I don't want to be you. I want to go home. Jennifer and I, as mothers ourselves, both had very strong instincts for the material and so the development process was very satisfying as we fleshed out this character so that she was a great deal more than a two-dimensional action figure. Don't you ever put that in your mouth again. It's a real gift to work with Jennifer. As a role, it's demanding. It has really significant action elements. Obviously, Jennifer brought her trademark skill and precision to those. No surprises there. I, I suppose the only surprise to me was that she hadn't been an action hero long before this. What was unsurprising to me is her strength and skill as a dramatic actress. She brings such strength, authenticity, truth and vulnerability to this role. Help! I am helping. I've had some great experiences and done some of the best work in my career working with children. Lucy being no exception. Really comes down to casting. If you cast the right kid, the process can be very, very natural. Lucy, she's a natural talent with a talent for staying natural. Her work with Jennifer is really beautiful. It was such a joy for me to direct those scenes and to see Lucy learning from Jennifer in the way that Zoe was learning from the mother. There's nothing you ever ate your whole life that didn't come from violence. Tofu. Half of Paraguay was burned and deforested for soy plantations. When they meet their oil and water to watch this journey of two strangers come together and learn to love and respect one another is one of the great strengths of this movie. You're driving. I'm 12. I hope people come away from the movie entertained and thrilled with a deep respect for mothers everywhere and all their complexity and badassery. I hope that there is a new appreciation for a mother's primal need to love and protect. This character with Jennifer Lopez in the role at the height of her powers is a gift to mothers and to audiences everywhere. You burn down our entire world for her. Yes. All right, let's have second team in, please. A couple of minutes swinging a lens. B camera will play, so it's looking out this way. So all of these people will need to clear through here. Until you're a mom, you don't know how to be a mom. And I think with this person who has not really ever had a family mm -hmm. and never expected to have kids and was doing all of this kind of illegal stuff, yeah. right? And not really caring about other people and can kill people easily as yeah. a sniper. Like, there's a lot of desensitization. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They stay when she tells them to yeah, stay? Yeah, they were staying earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nothing's gonna happen oh, okay. at all. I've uh -huh. played with them. So They're nice. not gonna bite you. They're not gonna bite you, of course not. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. I'm Lucy Pies, and I play Zoe in The Mother. Well, on paper, she's just like a normal girl whose life gets turned upside down, and she has to mature and learn how to survive. I was really nervous and scared, just like Zoe. So Jennifer treated me like her daughter. She taught me so much, on scene and off scene. I think what I was thinking about was really that there's all different kinds of moms. You know, we all have different strengths. We all have different weaknesses. And I think this character, she doesn't really even know how to parent. She doesn't know what to do with this kid. But she knows she loves her deeply, and she wants to do right by her, and she wants to protect her. This is why she's isolated herself from everybody, to just protect this child. What's the matter, are you scared? Then do this for yourself, and you won't be scared anymore. 
she knows she doesn't have what it takes when she sees the mom being a mom to her. She's like, I don't have her, but right. I can protect you. Not that's like her that. way of loving her. You know, that's her way of showing her that. I will never let anything happen to you. Right. Even if I have to die, I will protect you. So emotional thinking about how during the filming, I really learned how to become a better mom. Kind of exploring what is the best version of a mother you can be and how that's different for everybody.